Hey everyone, Kaser. Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. It is a celebration for the teachers of Hogwarts. More specifically, Professor McGonagall. This is a limited time side quest that you have to be year two, chapter four, in order for it to trigger. And I'm spending time with her because I have to write a speech about her and I want to learn more about her. But she's very tight lipped. She won't really reveal much about herself. But we're learning chess or wizard chess now. And she says that's a good way of, I guess, opening up and learning different things and about life and all that sort of stuff. And now I'm going to be interviewing other teachers, I believe, at Hogwarts. So, Casey, are you ready to start interviewing Professor McGonagall's peers for your presentation? I've been thinking about it quite a bit, and I'm eager to get started. Well, I think it is a brilliant way to learn more about Professor McGonagall. And it will really help you prepare for special recognition as a teacher appreciation celebration. Thanks, Benny. I appreciate your support. But it is a lot of responsibility. I need to get my presentation right. You will. What do you think is the most important thing to talk about so far? McGonagall's enigmous abilities. McGonagall's appreciation of chess. Obviously the bottom one, because I want those sweet, sweet points. She seems really excited by chess, and what we can learn from it. I could definitely mention that. <laughs> Professor McGonagall is so smart, I'm sure playing against her will be an exciting challenge and very educational. That's two things I have to figure out, my next chess move, and how to build my presentation. <laughs> Talking to the other professors is a brilliant start. I'm just not sure which ones would be the best to interview. There are so many choices and not a lot of time. Maybe it would help to go over the options? I think I might. Let's do it. Thanks, Penny. There certainly are a lot of options for teachers to talk to. I just have to decide who to start with, and who it is needs to know McGonagall really well. And be willing to talk even if they're busy. Wiseman will are there. Oh, okay. I thought it might be like glitched or something. I wish I had your problems. My professor's all about talking and talking. Mm. Professor Quirrell even asked me to come back again if I want to know more. <laughs> hey, Marilla. And that's so kind of Professor Quirrell. Mm. You would think that. To me, it was like getting tortured by an acromantula. There must be something Professor Quirrell could discuss that you'd be interested in, Marilla. I'm not so sure. He was a Hogwarts student not so long ago. Think about that. Curl used to be sitting at the same desk we sit at. What does he know that we don't? Wait, Marula, you're a genius. I prefer the most powerful witch, but I guess I'll take that too. What's going on, Casey? Did you get an idea? I did. I just realized Quirrell is a perfect first peer interview. You're right. What better place to start learning about Professor McGonagall than from her former students? Next up, Quirinus Quirrell. Quirinus? Oh, you poor son of a gun. What kind of a name is that? Oh, I guess that's what it looks like. I've never seen him before. Well, for sure we've never seen this particular person. But I don't think we've ever been to Muggle Studies either. Which is very, very intriguing. It's always nice when you meet new characters. That makes sense. It's stuff that you and me would have. Pizza boxes and lawnmowers and a giant beach ball and now 752. I don't know why they chose that number. I don't know if there's a specific meaning behind that number. As to why the developer chose it, but I... That's what caught my eye. Is that a gas pump? Lawn chairs? This is amazing. Time for our screenshot. Professor Quirrell? Mm. Yes? Hi, I'm KC. I haven't had the pleasure of taking your class yet, but I was hoping I could talk to you. What in the heck is that thing? A pod? 
Whoa, look at this place. How do I been in this classroom? So many fascinating objects. Mm -hmm. Muggles do have some eccentric obsessions, but don't we all? Hmm. Though funny you should notice, my own student interviewer, Marula Snide, didn't seem as taken. Maybe she was just... distracted with her project? Hmm. I would say she was decidedly the opposite. Hmm. Interesting character that Miss Snide, hard to tell if she's good, bad, or something in between. Hmm. What do you think about Marula? She's definitely good, she's got a bad side, something in between is right. She's obviously kind of both sides, but aren't we all? Marula's a little hard to read, so something in between might be right. The good Marula is strong and powerful, the bad one can be angry and temperamental. Hmm. I suppose we all have two sides to who we are. Hmm. But we should be wary of letting our passions or pursuits corrupt our better selves. Mm. Now, what can I do for you? I've got to prepare for my next lecture. Then I'll get right to the point. I've been assigned Professor McGonagall for my teacher appreciation presentation. Mm. The guest of honor herself. Big responsibility. I hope you can do McGonagall justice. That's why I'm here. I know you were Professor McGonagall's student before you joined the faculty. And wondered if you'd be willing to talk with me about her. Right, I'm happy to talk to you while I serve at the office. I'm trying to find out what the mongers call a video game. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and ask your questions while I look. Brilliant. What can you tell me about Professor McGonagall as a teacher? Well, he really doesn't know what a video game is, I guess. The truth is, Professor McGonagall is a wise and well-versed teacher. Mm. And even as a student, I admire her bravery in standing up to he who must not be named. Of course. Mm -hmm. But she also helped me personally. How so? Mm. I was bullied as a student, but Professor McGonagall helped me understand that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And by seeking it out, I could become stronger. That's part of the reason I'm a teacher today. How inspiring! But, what is your favorite quality about the professor? Mm -hmm. She's stern, but also caring. She took the time to help me. And I also related to her because we both had a parent who was a muggle. Mm -hmm. So I suppose I could say my favorite quality is her humanity. Thank you, professor. This has been so helpful. Mm -hmm. Alright then, I should get on with finding this video game. It runs on something called Batteries. Can you imagine? No, but I hope you learn more someday. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, I can take a class. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm still here. I intend to take a sabbatical and do a grand tour searching for more knowledge soon. Mm. And where I'm going, they do tend to wear a lot of hats. I've been trying this one out. Mm. What do you think do I strike you as a hat person? Definitely, definitely not. The hat looks fine. But I want to see what's under that hat. Let's see those locks, man. Definitely, a hat suits you. The more dramatic, the better. Hmm. Good to know, I quite fancy hats. One last thing, Professor. Do you perhaps know why Professor McGonagall is so interested in wizard chess? Hmm. Well, she was quite the Quidditch fan when she was my teacher. Maybe she just enjoys games? Mm -hmm. Muggle or magic, that seems to be universal. Of course, you're right, Professor. And now, I know exactly who to interview next. Madame Hooch. His hat reminds me of one of those weird hats that you sleep in. Am I making sense here? Madam Hooch, I was hoping I could talk to you for just a moment. Looking to improve your broomology skills, are you? I've noticed your landings can be a little rough. Defend your skills, agree and move on. I'm one of the best Quidditch players in all of the land. Actually, I think my landings are quite graceful. Having confidence in your skills is good. 
But don't be afraid to listen to constructive criticism as well. Pride shouldn't stop you from learning. I'll consider that. But actually, I'm here because I've been trying to learn more about Professor McGonagall. Got the old girl as a subject for your presentation at the Teacher Appreciation Celebration, did you? I did. And as she's being specially honored, I want to do my research. I know you both quite like Quidditch. Like? It's more than that. It's been a lifelong infatuation. In fact, we both played when we were students here at Hogwarts. That's brilliant. Would you tell me more about her? I do enjoy tales. Especially about a day that lived in Hogwarts infamy when Slytherin won the Quidditch Cup over Gryffindor. The weather with a fair wind was questioned. I'd love to hear all about it. Boo! How could they do that to Gryffindor? That's humor, everybody, because I'm Gryffindor. I can certainly say the contentious match between the rival houses left McGonagall all with more than just injuries. It also created a lifelong desire in Minerva to see Slytherin crush on the Quidditch pitch. Sounds like you're suggesting that Professor McGonagall is quite competitive. Ah. He certainly is that. Hmm. It is one of my favorite things about her. Hmm. And though we may not always agree about certain calls, I also know she can't abide cheaters, and I agree. Then I won't bother asking you for any chess move suggestions for the game the Professor and I are playing. Ah. Probably a good call. McGonagall wouldn't like that. Though, I couldn't help you if you did. I don't know a thing about Wizard Jess. Alright then, save on both counts. Hmm. The truth is, McGonagall respects honesty, integrity, fairness, and commitment in all things. Hmm. Though, I wish you'd also respect my calls on the Quidditch now that I'm a referee. She echoes me from the sidelines. Like you said, he's a true enthusiast. Thank you, Madame Hoot. This is really helpful. I'll leave you to prepare for your next class. Ah. Good luck on your presentation. And your chess game. Against someone as wily as Professor McGonagall, you're gonna need it. That reminds me, it's time for my next move. I'm off to see Professor McGonagall next. I will say that we are learning a lot about McGonagall. She has a muggle parent, she loves wizard chess, she's very competitive. She's stern but caring. What else am I missing? It's Dobby! Or just a house elf, maybe. Professor McGonagall, I'm looking for you. Mm? Yes, yes, but could you hold on just a second? It seems there's a problem in the kitchens. Now go on, you were saying, Crafty? Mm. Crafty needs Professor McGonagall to come to the kitchen right away. Crafty Rui Denny won't be ready in time. Then take it up with Pitts. I don't see why I should need to intervene. Mm. Crafty is here because Pitts specifically asked Crafty to bring Professor McGonagall. Mm. Well, let's not resort to hysterics. I'll come to you promptly if that's important. But Professor, I was hoping we could continue our interview for the teacher appreciation presentation. Mm. I'm very sorry, but whatever this problem is with Pitts is, it seems like I must intervene lest we go all hungry. I see. Well, then perhaps I could come with you and talk to you on the way? It's just that I want to be prepared for the celebration, what with you being specifically recognized and all. Hmm. Yes, you have mentioned that. And of course, I'm eager to get back to our chess game as well. Ah, I see you're already strategizing well. Bringing up our game is wise. Mm -hmm. And I admit I am curious where your next move might be if you're willing to give me a preview. I'm keeping the move to myself. I intend to take out my castle. I haven't decided. I'm not telling you anything. I think I'll keep my next move to myself, Professor. What kind of clever strategy calls for a player to tell their opponent what they're planning? Mm. Everything one does in chess sends a message. Mm. Including keeping one's plan close to the vest. Mm. Crafty is anxious that Pitts will reprimand Crafty for not returning quick with Minerva Metagonical. Mm. Very well, let's get on with it then. I don't want you to fret anymore. Oh. Mr. Casey, I'll meet you in the Transfiguration classroom quite soon to continue both our endeavors. Hi, Penny. <laughs> Hello, Casey. I saw you talking to Professor McGonagall. Did you get some helpful information for your presentation? 
boy, did I. Unfortunately, she was too busy to talk right now, Penny. What if we never sit down again? I hate to make a fool of myself at the celebration. <laughs> Professor McGonagall will make more time for you, I'm sure of it. In the meantime, why don't you tell me who you've talked to so far, and what you've learned from them? Sure, why not? Sounds like interviewing Professor Quirrell and Madame Hooch was very informative and helpful. It's true, so far I've learned that McGonagall is considered to be wise, humane, and competitive. But I still need something more personal. I want to go deeper into what makes McGonagall, well, McGonagall. Got any ideas who to interview next? So far I've talked to a former student who's now a peer, and somebody knows McGonagall as an athlete. Well, if you want to get some real personal insight into Professor McGonagall, you should talk to a friend. That's who would know me best. You're right, maybe even someone Professor McGonagall grew up with. I believe Professor Sprout and Professor McGonagall overlapped when they were students at Hogwarts. Professor Sprout is perfect, Town interview the Herbology Professor. Professor Sprout! I thought I could catch you on the way to Herbology classroom. Then you're in luck, because you did catch me and that's where I'm headed. How can I help you? I was hoping we could talk more about your relationship with Professor McGonagall. I'm working on my presentation about her for the Teacher Appreciation Celebration. Congratulations, you're very lucky to have such a wonderful subject. I agree. I've talked to your peers, but was especially interested in the fact that you've been friends for so long. That is true, as we have met here at Hogwarts when we were just students many years ago. So, I'd be happy to talk to you, though there is something I'd like in return. What's that? It is simply something I often ask the students here at Hogwarts. A curiosity as a herbologist. What is your favorite magical plant? Gillyweed, the Whomping Willow, Mistletoe. Is the Whomping Willow a plant? Gillyweed. I've always been fascinated by gillyweed. The idea that a plant could help you breathe underwater is thrilling. Surely a fascinating magical plant, though some say it resembles a bunch of slummy rat tails. Rejoice in the case that you crave adventure. And now that you've satisfied my curiosity, let's talk about my friend, Professor McGonagall. Brilliant! It sounds like you and Professor McGonagall supported each other as classmates and friends. Yes, that's true. I think the thing that I find most wonderful about her is her caring and devotion as a friend. She does seem quite devoted. I know that she's always helping others, rushing off to deal with teaching work or sudden problems at Hogwarts. Oh. You sound a little bit disappointed. Are your interviews proving challenging? Maybe you are just excited about getting to spend time with one of the most popular teachers at the school. We're playing a wizard chess game, which is exciting, but I'm having trouble getting her to open up for her interview. Mm. I can see that you appreciate Professor McGonagall, but that you feel tested by her too. And that is understandable. As a teacher, she's quite formidable. You have to earn her respect. But I can assure you that, like plants, all relationships simply need time and nurturing the bloom. So, you think my relationship with the professor can bloom like a plant? Absolutely. Take what you've learned so far and tend to that relationship, and you'll see for yourself. Thank you, Professor. You may have given me some ideas for my next chess move. And now, I'm off to see Professor McGonagall. Wanna bet? Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. I say that because she's obviously running around so much that maybe I wouldn't get a chance to talk to her. So, Professor, you wanted to play some more of our game if we did our interview. And now it has progressed, so how am I doing? Hmm. I must say, I am surprised by your most recent move. Why? Mm -hmm. That was to be my question. You moved your rook, then clearly just sacrificed your pawn, did you not? Perhaps I did, but I've learned sometimes to take sacrifice to get what you want. And what exactly do you want in this moment? To nurture a relationship, to win wizard chess, to get on with her interview. I kind of want to get on with the interview personally. 
but I can see why the top one is so tantalizing. What I want is to nurture a relationship over this game of wizard chess. A kind goal, and a worthy one. I applaud you for coming right out and saying it. I'm so pleased. Though, I am still perplexed. Is your strategy to lose to learn more about me? Because that would be quite disappointing. I thought it might help you share a bit more if you were winning. But should have remembered Madame Hoot saying you quite enjoy honest competition as well. I see you've been talking about me with my peers. And possibly even using information you've learned from them to guide you in our game. It's true, but I can explain. I think that would be best. I'm a little confused as to why she didn't say, what am I sacrificing? See, I could do what she does. Thought deep provoking things. So you see, I only talk to you to your peers and friends as a way to get to know you. And I learned quite a bit. It is wise to get to know your opponent. I'm just trying so hard not to disappoint you, Professor. And play honestly and wisely. I assure you honestly you do your best as always. But you spend a lot of time worrying about what's to come. Thinking about your brother, chasing curses, mm -hmm. making foolish mistakes in the game of playing here and now because you're worried about an next interview. I suppose you're right about that. Seems silly. Uh. I'm glad you agree. The best way to learn is to focus on the present, rather than getting caught in the past or what's to come. Mm. By doing that today, you put yourself in a corner in our game. Blimey, I hope I can get out of it. Uh. Fret not, there is always a path forward, and I'm quite enjoying our talks. But the way to earn my respect is to show me you respect the game. No more needless sacrifices. I understand. Thank you, Professor. Mm. Promise me to do your best. Consider your next move wisely, and we'll talk again soon. I promise. Oh, that's it. So that is halfway done. I'm learning to slowly get to her. With my moves. my Not my dance moves or anything like that. My actual chess moves. And earn her respect. Although I find it kind of interesting. Did she not respect me before this? And on to the third part. Where Professor Snape and... Headmaster Dumbledore help with your presentation as your wizard chess game with Professor McGonagall takes an unexpected turn. What turn? We were having so much fun and I was doing so well. What did I say or do and put my foot in my mouth this time to cause that to happen? I guess we'll see you moving forward in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. So thank you very so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.